Hello friends, my name is Scotch Card and welcome back to another tutorial for Stalker Anomaly. Today I'm going to be teaching you how the fuck the repair system works because that is the most complicated shit in the entire world. So the first thing you want to do is have a gun that you want to repair. We have an AK, but the AK is unfortunately in not very good condition. It is an AK-74N. So, one way you can repair stuff is you can walk yourself up to a, uh, a mechanic such as um, Xenotech and Xenotech will be able to repair stuff for you but it's pretty expensive pretty much the cost of a new gun so how do we repair our gun you may actually require some other AKs from some dead bodies. The best way to repair items is to find the constituent parts of the items, such as these. These can be gotten from other weapons of the same type or weapons that share the same uh, parts. That's the first step you're going to go through. In order to get those items, you will need to have one of these. A multi-tool, which can be acquired from mechanics throughout the game. We're going to spawn one in. This is what's known as a disassembly tool. So with this disassembly tool, you can right click on one of these uh, AKs that you want to fix up. And whilst holding down the alt key, you can then click on disassemble and your character will take the thing apart and you will get a whole bunch of parts out of it. Now when we mouse over our AEK, it tells us that this barrel this uh, rotating lock head, two locks A, and this sliding bolt carrier with turning bolt lock Russia are all compatible with that gun. And this one is at damage condition, as is this one and this one. We do the same thing, turning off animation so it takes less time. Uh, pressing the right square bracket key on your keyboard turns off animations, by the way. You disassemble all these guns, get a whole bunch of parts, and hopefully, uh, we, ha we now have four out of the five parts that we need to repair this AK. How do we do that? The first things you're going to need to do is find one of these toolkits, a basic tools. You can also find advanced tools and expert tools, but before you can use these, you need basic tools. These can be found in stashes and certain locations throughout the zone, which I'll be doing a video on. Uh, or several videos on later showing you where these can spawn. Now, once you've got one of these, do you use it? No. You go back to a mechanic, you talk to him, ask him if he wants any work done. He'll tell you he needs basic tools, you'll say, I'll do it, and then once you have them, you say, the job is done. Now, when you say to him, can I use your vice, and he tells you it's a thousand rubles, he will allow you to use his workbench. When you go to the workbench, you can now go over to the Repair tab, select the weapon, and now you can replace the parts. Except you can't, because you cannot replace parts of this equipment without small bore rifle repair kit. So you also need to find a small bore rifle repair kit, which, like the basic tools, will spawn in stashes, sometimes on stalkers' bodies, and also in specific spots throughout the zone that are designated spawns for random toolkits. We're going to spawn one in. Just like that. Now with this thing, it has a couple of functions. You can use it and repair compatible items if they're above 50%. If you mouse over it, it'll show you that uh, it gives you a base condition gain of 10% and is not usable below condition of 50%. Most of the guns you will find will be below 50%, unfortunately. So if we go back to this workbench, select the repair option, we can now replace the parts. And whenever we select a replacement part, the overall condition of the gun goes up. Except the parts we're using are also damaged, so it's going to go up not as much as it can. Uh, in order to get the maximum amount of repair value, what we need to do is repair those individual parts as well. And to do that, we need a file, several of them. We will also need ram rods, probably a couple of them, and the multi-tool as well. Now, when you mouse over one of these tools, actually, sorry, when you mouse over one of the parts that are used in your gun, it will highlight any tools that are compatible with it. So what we're going to do is double click on the ramrod, 
and then we can select the 5.45 barrel that we want to repair click OK and that goes up to 75% repeat that process and we now have a barrel that is at 100% likewise if we take this uh, rotating lock head this is compatible with the file double click on that uh, rotating lock head yep same thing again knock it up to 100% and then repeating that process with this this is also the file make that 100% and then finally the uh, the gas tube can use either the file or these um, and this double true this double mo this double fire mode trigger mechanism with hammer which isn't compatible with our gun can use the uh, multi-tool to repair as well be careful you don't confuse disassembly and repair to disassemble things you can hold alt and drag over stuff to disassemble it which i don't think we can disassemble that so that's okay but to repair stuff you want to double click on the multi-tool since it has two functions of disassembly and repair remember right click and choose disassemble well, i have something i can disassemble if you want to disassemble something double click if you want to repair something and now we have a whole bunch of parts for this bad boy that are at 100 percent and can be used with it so we're going to go back to the workbench back over to the repair tab select the ak and we're now going to change out all these parts whoops well actually select 100 percent parts that i want to use and that will take the AK up to 86%. We can only do four parts because we only have four parts, but also the toolkit only has four uses. And every part you replace takes a use of the toolkit. Now when we click repair, the gun goes up to 86%. Now to get it up to 100%, we can go back to the mechanic, talk to him, and sorry, go to the equipment he's tweaking, and we can pay a reduced rate to get that fully repaired other option we can do however is use one of these numerous uh again mousing over the item to see what's compatible with it we can use these other smaller repair items that will do things from 90 percent or 80 something percent 87 percent upwards to repair the item you can tell from when you look in the mechanic and what the value of the items are what's generally going to be better but by mousing over you can see that this one does 65 percent and upwards this one does 90% and upwards. So if an item is only slightly damaged, you want to use the weaker repair items to keep it in good nick. And if it gets more damaged, that's when you're going to need a more expensive repair kit. If I double click on this, the Dvozhka, which does 90% and above, it's not going to show the AEK because the AEK is currently at 87%. If I switch over to this bad boy, the Hops number 9, which does 87% and above, double click on that, the AEK now shows up. When I click on it, it will show that it will take it from 87% to 94%, but it will also show our other repair items and some other miscellaneous items that will increase the amount it repairs by. So I'm gonna select the, uh, I'm gonna select this one because it's 90% and above, so it's less valuable than that one. I'm gonna increase my repair to 99%, which I would say is good enough. Our gun is now repaired. Regardless, this tutorial has been simply a demonstration of how you can repair items in Stalker Anomaly. I'm going to make another tutorial showing how crafting works along a similar line. Stay tuned. I don't care. I own a house, two motorcycles, and a car. I don't care about 30 fucking dollars. Oh, sorry, Leo. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing but a good idea, trust me. What is that? <laughs> oh, I had that work out for you, dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's simple if you know how. <laughs> now, why did I die just now? Because this guy's fucking shit. God fucking damn it. Let's start the stream.